greatness gang d4 g here i am back what it do baby hey today i'm bringing y'all a follow-up from my facebook trades that i did last week and i did do a couple more i actually got three sets of different trades that i'm gonna be presenting to y'all today so first i traded my just for you by our mom which is supposed to be like a gentleman only type of clone. And the second fragrance that I traded was Crave, another one that's by Armand. And if I'm correct, I think that's Parfum de Marley Pegasus type of clone. Now, personally, I feel like I won this because what I picked up in my trade was Rare Carbon from Offnon. Now, this one I'm super excited to check out. Ombre Leather type of clone, very fresh. I'm rocking with this one heavy. This is my type of scene. But then the second fragrance that we picked up was John Lowe Ombre. Now this one I'm a little iffy on. I ain't even gonna hold you. So we about to tap into both of them and I'm gonna let y'all know my thoughts. But before we get into that, let me know if y'all think who won this trade. Did I win this trade or did the other guy win this trade? We both like our fragrances, so it's an equal trade for me. Now before we get into it, you know you're on the road to 5,000 subscribers by June 1st. It's a big goal, but it's my goal. I'm trying to knock this out. Y'all can help me out by giving your boy that HBO special. That's to help a brother eye special for those who don't know. Make sure you just hit the like and the subscribe button. Now let's talk about this video. All right, bro, first things first, we're gonna tap into Ombre. We're gonna tap into the John Lowe fragrance. Now this one, it didn't come with a bottle. I mean, this... Huh? This one didn't come with a box, no biggie. Sometimes that does happen. Me, I'm cool with it. I ain't really tripping over the presentation for the most part. Magnetic cap. Now this was supposed to be like the Ombre Nomad. The, uh, I think it's Louis Vuitton type of clone, so you already know how that. You know I ain't paying for that price. Ooh wee, ooh, ooh wee. Hey, boy, this shit dark, man. This is dark, earthy, man. I'm just saying, this is dark fragrance. All right, man. One of the first things that I'm able to pick up is like this smoky, woody, somewhat spicy type of smell. More woody than smoky, but it does have a nice smoke effect to it. So yeah, man, you're gonna get a good amount of amber wood. I think this thing got some sandalwood in there, even some cedar wood. Now, I'm not really getting that creamy effect, but I'm really just getting like a nice, dark, woody, almost Al Malik type of feel, smell. Like this is not something that's just everyday driver. I don't even think that my younger fellas can rock this one. This is definitely gonna be more of my older, mature gentleman, suited and booted. You kind of got like a little bit more of a developed nose in a way. You like those more mature smells. I can't see none of my young fellas rocking with this. This fragrance has a very mature style about it. Man, I'm gonna let this one sit down for a little bit because I know as it dries down, as it starts to transition, it's supposed to be getting like some fruit accords in there, some citruses. So we're gonna see how this transitions. But right now in the opening, it really doesn't smell like a fragrance that I would just wear on a daily basis like that. I wouldn't just reach for this one. I would really have to be first impression, really trying to bring my best foot forward maybe even a networking type of thing but whatever it is i'm trying to make sure that i solidify it like this isn't no player i'm not just wearing this out and about during the day i got shit to do when i'm wearing this one. but we're gonna let this one sit it for a little bit i want to let that one do its thing and give it some time to do its thing and we're gonna tap into this one this is the one i really want to try fam now this rare carbon yeah pop open like so very nice box from off nine man very y'all know we rock for off nine over here yeah but i'm rocking with this look how much solution was left still in there but you can't tell me that's not a good purchase man you can't tell me that's not a good trade now let's tap into this fragrance and see how it's coming off this one i'm super bro i can smell this one from the atomizer y'all already know how i feel about leather fragrances so this one gonna be an easy green bean for me oh my god bro yeah, man, if you're a fan of leather notes, you're gonna like this one. A nice dose of leather, but you can get like a little bit of a spicy accord in there. Some salt spice along that lines of like cinnamon. So it's very soft. There's nothing too rough in there, but then it almost sounds, smells like it has like a floral accord, which makes it extremely nice. Like violet, violet leaf type of thing. It is very much so in that same vein. Yeah, man, I'm rocking with this, especially for ombre leather clone. This is a nice one. I will say that it might be a little bit more fresher than what you get from Ombre Leather. I don't remember Ombre Leather coming off as fresh. Like this one is extremely easy to wear. It's very much so in that same vein as the Ombre Leather style fragrance. This one's just very easy to wear for me. Like I can see this one being worn throughout all, if not most spectrums of the age gap. Like 
All right, fam. So I don't let both of these sit in for a little bit to kind of let that arm break develop because I need to see how that one's going to transition. So we're going to tap in. Let's see what this one's going. But okay, it's like the it's like it's starting to do something different, but not much that's just making it to where you love it more. If it's okay in the opening for you, it's going to be okay in the dry down. If you don't like it in the opening, you're not going to like it in the dry down. It's, it's, it's keeping that same vein. Like I'm not really getting that bergamot that's coming out. I'm not getting too much of those citruses. Hell, I ain't, I can't even pick up the mint that this fragrance got in it. So yeah, man, I'm, I don't know, man, I don't know. This was not bad. So like I said, it's just not as easily wearable as what I was thinking. This is definitely special occasion type of thing. Now this rare carbon, bro, I'm telling you fam, this rare carbon is a hit, man. You know, something that is really reminding me of it's giving me like slight fashions of Irish leather by Memo Paris. That one, or leather by Ana Abadaya, because this is an Irish leather clone. And it's very much so in that same vein. Now in the opening, it was doing something completely different, straight ombre leather. In the dry down, it's still ombre leather for sure. But it's, it's close to that Irish leather dry down in a way. I'm rocking with this heavy. This might be my scent of the day tomorrow, bro. This is nice. Yeah, Red Carbon is the winner of these two. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do you have Ombre or do you have Rare Carbon? If you do, which one do you like out of the two? And what are your thoughts on either one? Let me know down in the comment section. Let's add a conversation. But with all that being said, we got to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of it, fam. Be for you, truly blessed. Destined for greatness. We are.